Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one will be paper 3 of May, June 2002. Uh, in this paper, I will try my best to explain everything as detailed as possible so that you can achieve maximum understanding through every question. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the questions. So now we have question number one. So we have to prove the identity cot theta minus tan theta equal to 2 cot 2 theta. Now, obviously, we usually proceed from the left-hand side to prove that it is equal to the right-hand side. But you can obviously do the opposite. You can start from the right-hand side and prove it also equals to the left-hand side. But I will just do the usual thing, usually, from left to right. Now, what else can we observe here is that um, on the left-hand side, at first we have theta, right? But then eventually, we do convert them to 2 theta. So this is something to keep in our mind uh, for later on in the, in the question because we do understand it will involve a double angle uh, formulas down the road. So one by one, let's first simplify this. So what is cot theta? So we understand that cot theta is equal to cos theta divided by sine theta. Fair enough, fair enough, right? So we should know that. Now, uh, what next? What is tan theta? So tan theta is equal to sine theta divided by cos theta. And that's fair enough, right? Now, since we know these values, we place them back in this equation. Again, here we are starting from the left-hand side, so let's forget about this one for now. Let's begin with those two on the left-hand side. So tan uh, cot we have cos theta over sine theta, here we have minus, so minus, right? Tan will be sine theta over cos theta. Okay, so I hope you guys know how to do a uh, fraction, uh, subtraction. So if you guys don't know, no big deal. As you can see, we have one fraction minus another fraction, but the base are different. So what do we usually do? So just to refresh our memory, let's say we have A over B minus C over D. Because the base are different, what do we do? We multiply them by each other. So B times D, you will have DD. Then we have to cross multiply. So A times D will be AD. Here we have minus, minus C times B will be CD. So you will have this as your result. So same way. Let's proceed. The base is different. What do we do? We multiply them by each other. You will have sine times cos, right? So sine, sine theta, cos theta. Fair enough, right? And then cross multiply, you will have cos times cos will be cos squared. Here we have minus, minus, sine times sine will be sine squared. Okay, so now we have this. So now we, it seems that we have been able to kind of simplify this to that, and now we have to see what else can we do. But remember, here we have double angle. So let's list down, let's write down the double angle formulas that we know for sine and cos. So we know that cos 2 theta, because here we have theta, so we write 2 theta, is equal to cos square theta minus sine square theta. Similarly, we do know that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. So these are things that we should know for the double angle formulas. Now we observe. Well, hey, by observation, I can see that this is equal to this. So I can replace. So you would say the top can also be known as cos 2 theta. Fair enough. Now for the base, what can we do? Now by observation, here we have sine theta cos theta. So here we have sine theta cos theta. Now, to get rid of 2, I have to divide by 2 on both sides. You will have sine 2 theta over 2 is equal to sine theta cos theta. To replace, we have this is equal to this one. 
to the lab, sign two data over the value of, of two. Now, I guess for some people, this kind of fraction may seem quite uh, intimidating. So what can we do here? Simplify. Let me rewrite this as well. So you would say this is simply, simply what? Cos 2 theta divide, so divide by sine 2 theta over 2. Now, what is uh, cos 2 theta? You can also say cos 2 theta is the same thing over 1. Now, as we have seen in paper one before, in uh, I believe in O levels, when you have divide, we tend to change that to what? To multiply, right? So that will be cos two theta. We change that to multiply. So when you do that, we have to flip this upside down. So this will go up, and this will go down. Now we can simplify step by step. So finally, two will be two. Leave this outside. And here we have cos 2 theta divided by sine 2 theta. So 2 is 2. Now what is cos divided by sine will be cot. And here we have angle is 2 theta. And this is shown as required. So the main thing over here is to really observe, as you can see, we do see that first we're dealing with theta, but eventually we have two theta in the answer. So keep in your mind that we will be dealing with double angle formulas, right? Now, from this, we have to simplify them one by one, then simplify again, and when we reach here, we say, okay, let me try and see if we can use this now. So once you find these values, we press back here, step by step, and you should have this as your answer for question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to expand this one right here. In ascending powers of x, so from smaller x up to bigger x's, up to and including the term in x cubed. Okay, cool. Simplifying the coefficient. So one by one, how will we do this? So as we can see, it is a uh, binomial expansion. Now we have to check if it is in proper form before using the expansion. How do you check this? So by observation. So we do understand that the first one have to be plus one. Is it plus one? It is plus one. Good. And then here we don't really care to have plus or minus. Here we have minus three x. And the power here has to be negative. So confirm this is negative and this is plus one. So good to go. We can use the, the formula that we have for this one, for the binomial expansion. Now, I hope you guys know the formula by now. If you guys don't know, we can write this down first and then we can just replace in the values one by one to find the corresponding terms for example the formula is what it is we have one plus x power n so if you want to expand this we have to know this will give you what one plus n times x plus n times n minus one divided by two factorial and then times x squared plus n uh, times 10 minus 1 times n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial times x cubed plus of course it keeps going on and on but here we will stop Why? because we just need to provide the term up to x cubed so once it hits x cubed we can stop now this is the the general formula now we just have to do by comparison and then replace in the formula. How can we do this? So let me write this equation or this uh, expression right below this one. So by comparison, we have 1 plus minus 3x. Do you agree? The power here is minus 1 over 3. So from what I can see, this is 1. It's exactly the same good. Here we have x, but here we have minus 3x. Okay, fine. So we can say x here is equal to minus 3x and the power n is equal to what? minus 1 over 3 so now by having all these values listed out we can replace in this expansion one by one so the answer will be what? so replace so the first term is just 1 that is fine plus n is given to you by minus 1 over 3 times x x is given to you by minus 3x plus n is given to you by minus 1 over 3 times 
minus 1 over 3 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial times minus 3x squared and finally we have minus 1 over 3 times minus 1 over 3 minus 1 times minus 1 over 3 minus 2 here we have minus 3x squared divided by 3 factorial Okay, so now we just have to simplify one by one. I guess this is the hardest part of this kind of question. Once we reach here, we have to be careful and simplify one by one. So one is just one, obviously, no problem. Here we have minus, minus, we will cancel out. So one over three times three, that will be plus just one x, so x. Here we can use our calculator, obviously, to see what happens. Um, so let's do that. So we have minus 1 over 3 uh, times minus 1 over 3 minus 1 and times so 3 square minus 3 square is 9 so times 9 and then divide by 2 factorial that will be just 2 so here we have plus 2 and x will become x squared and for this one same steps of course I would always recommend using your calculator because why go through this process uh, in your head or one by one, you when you can use your calculator. So we have minus one over three times minus one over three minus one times minus one over three minus two times so minus three. Here we have cube obviously, so minus three times uh, minus three times minus three. You will get minus twenty seven. Then divide by three factorial, you will get this, which is fraction four plus four. 2 third, here we have x cubed. Again, so just be careful with each every term, and this, the powers have to be 1, here it is 1, 2, and 3. And just be careful when you simplify them as well to find the correct value. So now, now again, we can really do, leave this as such, or we can expand this if you want to. That will be 1 plus x plus 2x squared, and here we have 4 times this is 12, plus 2 is 14 over 3x cubed. So, question, express this in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x power 3. So we are done here. Now, what is the main takeaway? The main takeaway is that to use this binomial expansion, I have to make sure that the first one is plus 1 and then the power is negative. So in this case, we have plus 1, good to go. And the power is negative, good to go. So these conditions, once they are satisfied, we can use this formula. Now write this down, compare, replace them back in one by one, and simplify. You should have these as your answer for question number two. I hope the first half of the video was somewhat helpful. If you guys would love to access the full video, feel free to click on the Patreon link on the main page. Otherwise, you can go to the description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.